looks good. All right, looking good. Test. Okay, sights and sounds. All right. Hello, everyone. My name is Allie. I'm from OK to Be Fat because it is OK to Be Fat, and this is your Yakuza Like a Dragon stream. We stream all of the Yakuza and Like a Dragon games and uh, some other stuff too. RGG Studios. I, I'm like, this is not a Yakuza game, but it is. It this this is Judgment. This is a uh, Yakuza AU fanfic game where uh, we're playing Ace Attorney, but in the Yakuza series. <laughs> Welcome. And uh, I guess I was playing poker. Is that man lost his chair, sir? What are you seated on? He's just perching up. This man has, oh, that man has his chair. It's inside the other chair. Well, that's all, I, I figured out where it is. Huzzah for me! Well... I'm supposed to go back to the Yagami Detective Agency and like, yeah, yeah, I hear you, but... First of all... Oh god, I have nothing. Forstein, behaw! Behaw to you! Happy Friday! I want to go to, oh lord, bartender, and see if I, if, there was a man, he was sitting on a chair, but the chair wasn't there. <laughs> We're getting a uh, couple of good, the dragon engine glitches here and there, I love it. I'm going to go to bartender and see if I can pick up some more gerbs. Ah, the Friday, we love it. Thank you. All right, so like, let's see. No, not there. Camero go. I need to talk to people, get a lot more money. Just run around places, take more photos. Uh, three more taxis. Just beating up folks. Okay. Living, living weapon. Alright, that's pretty easy. That's pretty doable. What am I missing? Excuse me, Bantam. What am I missing at Bantam? Do I need to, like... Why? What? Alright, there's gonna be something. Well, I just have to deal with that as it as it arises. Pretty good day, kinda foggy a bit. Uh did the things I needed to do for the most part. Thought I lost the checkbook. And it was not lost. It was literally exactly where it was supposed to be, but I had just completely overlooked it. Um, had a panic attack. You know, just a uh, fun ADHD thing. Yeah, give me that entertainment industry job. One of my, um, yeah, we, I mean, it was, like, literally where it was supposed to be. I just... It was invisible. Until after I had a panic attack. So thanks for that, brain. Especially, like, right now. Because I'm just, like... I cannot... 
Nothing can get messed up with the bank accounts. We're supposed to move. So, we have to go to the Hotel New Deborah in the daytime. I got honey trapped. I was tricked by a woman into a trap. Can you think, think you can find proof it was a trap? If not, my life is over. Please uncover that woman's evil true nature. Please, I'm begging you, I'll come by your office. Sir, you sound like an incel, but okay. He does have money. I want you to find a certain cat. It's a very special cat, but I can't seem to capture it. Please, you must do this. Additionally, I should mention that in case the contents of this request leaks to outsiders, a great danger may befall you. I ask you to please keep it a secret. Please come to the roof of the building that houses the izakaya called the Happy Family on Sen uh, Senrio Avenue and come alone. I, I guess that's a lot. I do got this. Oh, it's that girl with the CD. Hi. Mm -hmm. Hey, haven't we met before? Mm -hmm. Huh? You're... The si She's the singing girl. Is it a cat-based email chain letter? I mean, it certainly did seem like it. The girl's singing out in front of the theater square, right? Hi. Yes. My name is Sana Mihama. You bought my CD, didn't you? Yeah. I'm surprised you remember me. Although I don't have a CD player, I only have a record player, so I can't listen to it, but, you know, I appreciate the effort. Oh, you're pretty hard to forget, guy. Your hair is very uh, styled, and you look like someone beat the snot out of you. <laughs> of course I do. You might not realize it, but buying my CD is like sowing a seed of hope for my career. Oh no. You mind telling me your name, stranger? Excellent choice, stranger. Ah, oh, stranger. <laughs> like the uh like the merchant Resident Evil 4. He calls everybody stranger. Yeah, well, not everybody, he calls Leon. Because you're not playing everybody, you're just Leon the whole game. and Except for the parts where you're Ashley, and those parts suck! Uh, uh, I hated being Ashley! She can't do shit! Leon's all like, you really showed you could uh, handle yourself out there, Ashley. And I'm like, all the time, she was like, Leon, no! Save me, Leon! Like, whatever. Can you imagine? They, like, kidnapped the president's daughter. For reasons? This is not a good plan. And then they take her to a plague area in Spain. And then the United States government sends one fucking guy. <laughs> named Leon into the area because, I guess because he was at a different zombie outbreak, Leon needs to, like... If I was Leon, I would just be scared to get a new job, because every time he's on a new job, like, it's just a zombie outbreak. Like, I, mm, I feel like at a certain point, like, twice is too many times for that to have happened. Leon, what the hell? Oh, right, this is not Resident Evil 4. Let me just get back to that. <laughs> I'm Yagami. I work as a detective around here, not Raccoon City. <laughs> wow, you're actually a detective? I've only seen those in the movies. I love Raccoon City. It's in it's in It's in the center of America. I want to know if Raccoon City is supposed to be in Illinois. I don't think it is. I think we looked it up and it's like in Michigan. Um, amongst the Michigan mountains. <laughs> love it. Love it, love it, love it! The great mountains of Michigan. <sighs> See, the joke about that is, if you don't know, is that, um, the Midwestern central part of America is very flat because of there were glaciers back in, uh, glacier times that, like, scraped everything flat. 
That's why. <laughs> you don't really get mountains until you get out to the Rockies more in the west. Well, that is actually in the west. See, I should not be talking about geography like I know what I'm talking about. Because I don't. Because when we were supposed to be learning geography in school, we didn't. We watched Corey Haim, like a Corey Haim movie over and over again. Instead of learning about geography. And then I just never learned it myself. Because <laughs> I guess I don't care. I mean, it's not that I don't care. It's just, it doesn't stick for me. I don't know. The prairies used to be the bottom of an ocean. Yeah! A lot of things used to be more oceans and whatnot. Yeah, I don't know. Pangea, baby! <laughs> My favorite part of uh, evangelical middle school was how they tried to work in shit like Pangea into the into the Bible, and they just pick Bible verses to be like, and this is why Pangea's in the Bible. And you, no, it's not. It's not. The people who wrote the Bible did not know about tectonic plates. They didn't. They didn't know about that. Oh no. So, you listened to my song. Did you like it? Mm. I did. She has a good voice. There's just something about your music. I can't quite put my finger on it. But the way you sing is incredible. Yeah, it's incredible. <laughs> you really think so? Yeah. Pulled me right in from the start. <laughs> wow, that means a lot to me, Yagami-san. By the way, you're not here to drink, are you? Not to presume, but you look a little young. Yeah. Oh no, I'm just here to sing. And yes, I've got another year before I can drink. So that means she's 19. Basically what happened was the owner listened to a couple of my songs and ended up asking if I could perform. I guess he really likes your music. That's always good news. Hey, would you mind singing something for me? Yaga, we don't do this. You put her on the spot. Oh, I guess she's gonna do it. Uh, not at all. In fact, I'd love to. It's cute. It's cute. Um, Yagami-san? I'm glad I got to talk with you today. I'll still be doing my street gig, so stop by during the day if you ever want to hear more. Supporting the arts. Cool. We got a lot of stuff here on the screen. Um. Oh. I got to investigate a daughter-in-law. I could do that. Hello, do you need to be investigated? <laughs> I could also go to Yagami's detective agency and like hope that they fix his face. Because, like, he looks so beat up. It's a little distracting. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Especially since it's right here. Kaito-san! Oh, fuck. Open the door with the key! Uh, wait, and now we are waiting. Hello, Hello? I'm Kataro. Um, Huga, the guy who put in the request. You might even know me as Hinata. 
Oh, yeah, thanks for coming. Please, take a seat. I forgot what this guy's deal is. So your request said something about a setup? Yeah, that's right. Uh, this is tough. Mm -hmm. Take your time. God. God damn it. Whoa. Buddy. Take your time and chill out. Damn, damn, dammity, damn! I know. Uh, you wanna be okay? Maybe you should step outside, take a breather? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just that when I think about that woman, I get so damn mad. Oh my, look at his face! Hmm. Wow! He sure does look extra mad. Well... You'll need to tell me what happened if you want my help. You don't recognize me, do you? I'm actually a stand-up comic. <laughs> His face is just like, oh my god, dude, it's gonna get stuck like that. I had everything going for me. Young, handsome, funny. I was on my way up in the comic biz. But I'm on hiatus now, and I don't even know if I can bounce back. Mm -hmm. And the hiatus relates to why you're here, I take it. My face was plastered all over one of those trashy tabloids this week. I take it you're involved in some kind of scandal? I'll say. The garbage rags are saying that I got a minor drunk and then took advantage of her. Well, fuck her, did you? Cause if you did, we're kicking your ass straight out the window. Here, see for yourself. Okay. Okay. So the girl was underage. That puts you completely at fault. No gray area here. No, you got it wrong. She said she was 22. Buddy, get out of my office right now. You're saying she lied about her age. Yagami, why are we entertaining this? <laughs> yeah, she said we were about the same age, and we hit it off, and the vibe was good, and I was pretty into her. And, oh god, no! This was the girl. Her name's Asuka Hachitani. This whole thing has stopped my career dead in its tracks. I can't perform, and I even had to pay agency reparations. Hey, Lil Sav, hey! On top of that, I'm getting hounded by paparazzi and journalists everywhere I go. It's terrible. Nice to see you. Sure, but can we go back to the part about her lying about her age? That's the key here. If it's true... Ah! Oh, fuck this. No! <sighs> Sucks, man! The internet's calling me Horny Hinata. Or just Hornada. Fuck you, dude! It's true what they say. Go I'm not reading that out loud. What the fuck, man? Uh... Nobody says that! Well, I think I'm starting to get the picture, but I'm gonna need more details. Hornada son! Huh? It's Hinata! Oh, right, sorry. It was too catchy. So, this girl you slept with, uh, Achitani san, the woman who's set you up, apparently. Are you positive she said she was 22 years old? Yes, I am not a fool. I asked her age even before we'd finished the first drink. Hell, I even asked her to show me your driver's license at one point. But the tabloid clearly indicates she's underage. That's quite a contradiction. I know. I don't understand this at all. I know what I saw on her driver's license. Mm. 
Well, something's not adding up. That's the first thing we need to look into. Can you tell me a little more about the day you met her? Sure. I just wrapped up a recording, so I went out to grab some drinks with my co-star. His name is Ko, um, Kotatsu Higarashi. He's a comic too, about my age. We're good buddies. Oh, I should have a picture of him. Yeah, that's him right here. Ko uh, Kotatsu said he knew a good spot that night. So we went out drinking at a place called Bantam. Oh, Bantam. I know it. I've drank all of their drinks, except the hidden one. When we got there, Kotatsu said it was pretty weak for a couple of guys to be drinking alone. I mean, I didn't mind, but he said he'd call up some girl he'd met recently. Is that the girl in question? Yeah, Asuka Hichitani. Apparently they met on a group blind date. That means it was the three of you drinking that night? Yeah, but now that I think about it, she was pouring him drink after drink, and he conked out early and grabbed a cab. So it gotta be just the two of us, and just like I said, we were hitting it off. She was drinking, she got kinda handsy, I got kinda... Oh god. I guess that does sound like the perfect cocktail for the disaster that led you here. Yeah, one thing led to another, we ended up going to a hotel. Kotatsu is pretty messed up about it, too. He's the only guy who's been out there defending me. He's even tried to take some of the blame himself. I see. I think I'm understanding the how, at least. But what are you hoping I can do, specifically? Yagami-san, I want you to find proof that I was set up. And if you find a way, I'd love to get back at Oh, God. Buddy, uh, I'll pay money. Find proof and get revenge, huh? This might be a tough one. And I need to make sure it was actually a setup in the first place. Hi. All right, I've heard what I need to get started, I think. I can't promise anything, but I'll take the case. Thank you very much. I'll call you if I make any progress. You're my only hope, man. I'll leave you to it. First thing I need to do is find this woman, Hashitani. Maybe if I head to Bansom, I can get a lead or two. Okay. But first, let's see if we've got some Omnoms. Oh, Tomioka-san put some food in here. This is Omaris. Eat it. Eat it now. Man, that's good. I just criticized her really hardcore a couple of times. Now she's good at cooking. Uh, do I got more jobs? Hey, give me... No? Alright. Fine. Rest up. Ayabi's start stopping by tomorrow. Maybe a good idea to get some shot. Like, please fix your face. Whew, I'm exhausted. Do 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 Just head down straight on a hard armrest. Ah, uh, Huh? What the fuck? I'm a cop, I don't have to do that. Those must be the files he promised. それが松金組強盗事件の捜査資料。捜査資料だ。寝ぼけやがって。ヤクザが泥棒に入られたっつって<笑> 
この資料は全部俺の独自情報。This is why Kaito got kicked out of the Yakuza. 情報量十万だったよな。Oh, my precious money! Oh no, my precious money! わかりやすいなこれ。本物の捜査資料みたいだ。刑事がどれくらい書類作ってると思う？星追ってる時間より書類作ってる時間の方がずっと長いんだよ。<笑>得意な顔しちゃって<笑><笑>まずこれが松金組事務所の間取りだ1年前強盗に入られた当時のものだがまあ今と変わってないだろう多分な So the question is How did the thief break in get the money and make it out? 強盗はまず事務所に入る組員に紛れて監視カメラをかわしたで、その資格で組員の頭を拳銃で殴って気絶させてるその時事務所は留守を預かる怪盗が一人きり午後3時松金組の事務所が一番手薄な時間だそして強盗は油断しきってた怪盗に銃を突きつけ金庫を上げさせた強盗は一人きりだろ強盗は一人きりだろなのにあの怪盗さんがあっさり強盗はカイトに銃を突きつけた後、天井を一発撃ち抜いてみせた。銃は本物。となれば、誰だって動けるもんじゃない。で、脅されるまま金庫を開けた後は、No for k a i t o ここまでが事件のあらましだ。So he broke in specifically when no one else was around. Ballsy. Raiding a Yakuza office with just a pistol. Yeah, I was wondering about that. How did he know when there wasn't going to be duders there? Unless somebody told him. なんかカイトさんが不自然だなあの人ならもっと抵抗しそうなもんださすがだなんさて今までの話は所詮前だ This is the part that's worth the money こっからが10万の価値がある情報でねさっき俺は事務所にカイトは一人だと言ったな We have the intense jump jump guitars heck yeah This is our This is our figuring stuff out music. We're, make, we're making, instead of making money moves, we're making brain moves. <laughs> What? Higashi was there? How do you know that? He's reading manga. Nanda Timmy. Tinko Agero Sakarai Bagaskoros. Omoshide Yarunana eat pots de Coroseo. Then I do Omaenga Shinze. Oh no! Floor no semi de. Kumi chou no kutsu o miga kasare de ita rashi. Sore de ihen ni kizuita toki ni wa mou deru ni derare na katta. Wakatta. Yamero. Yameru n da. Oh, he did it to save Higashi. Oh. 
出しはそこで強盗の顔つきや体つき特徴を記憶に焼き付けてた結果として誰も死なずに済んだしそれがベストの行動だったが兄貴分を見捨ててムザムザ1億渡したとも言えるヤクザとしちゃ指詰めもんだ Oh man. That's a Hagashi わかるか。出なきゃあんたがこの事件を知ってるはずがない。警察には通報されてないんだろ。そういうことだ。で、東は警察の前科者リストから星を見つけ出した。そいつはカムロ町のホームレスになっていて、赤花と呼ばれてた
what? <laughs> Eat that! I'm going to go eat some cake or whatever. Hi. How's yeah, your English so. going? Oh, Yagami-san, I have another question. You're probably wondering what kind of English I've been studying in the first place. Hmm? Nah, you're fine. Hit me with your question. Okay, there was this customer who ordered something for takeout. What's that supposed to mean? They wanted to take your life. It's another way of saying take it to go. Oh! So that's why they were looking at me all weird. I brought their order out as usual without packing anything up. Now I feel kind of bad. Well, now you know something new. I'm sure you won't make the same mistake twice. Haha, <laughs> you've got such good perspective on things. I try. Okay. Talking about the English language. Can I... Give me your finest cheesecake, please. Oh, what a delight. So Thank you. Okay. I'm gonna save because we did have that long go bit. I'd like to make sure I maintain progress. Alright. So. I have a case here. Yeah, it was on the sixth floor, I think. Or the second. We'll figure it out. Oh, it is here. It is here. Hey, it's you, guy! Ano. Are you Hayama-san? I'm Detective Yagami. Uh, I've been waiting for you, Yagami-san. Thanks for making the trek. Please, come in. The man of the hour is right this way. Mm -hmm. The man of the hour? Yeah, he's the reason I made this request. Or I guess you could call him the problem in a lot of ways. Right then, let's just start at the beginning. Soto. Ah! Shijima-kun, I told you there's no smoking here. Huh? Oh, shut it, will you? I apologize, Yagami-san. You shouldn't have had to see that. It's fine. You care to introduce us? This is uh, Atoya Shijima, an artist associated with our talent agency. Mm -hmm. What kind of artist? Boy. Wait, you don't know who I am? What kind of remote mountain village are you from that you haven't heard of me? <sighs> uh, sorry? I don't have time to watch much TV. Soto. Don't be rude, Shijima-kun. I, I apologize, Yagami-san. Don't sweat it. Why don't you take a seat, uh, Hayama-san? So, what can I do for you today? Well, it's about the performance Shijima's gonna be doing in Kamurocho. <sighs> it would have been fine, but he's being hounded by a scandal of sorts. When you're not as famous as you think you are, yeah, he, uh... Yagami's giving him the full Kiryu experience. Just like, I don't know who you are. Of sorts? We knew he had a bad rep when we signed him, but some of his past indiscretions have come to light in recent days. So what if I used to ride motorcycles over sidewalks with my crew and stuff? <laughs> and I mean, I guess we snatched a few things for shits and giggles. Ha ha ha. Uh, so restless and reckless endangerment and theft. Oh, come on! It was more than ten years ago! I read online that's past the statute of limitations. Uh. 
Well, you could start by at least pretending to be sorry. The timing is unfortunate. I think this event is gonna draw quite a crowd of reporters. But that would ruin the performance, especially if he's caught by them. I understand the situation, I suppose, but I still don't get how I fit in. Yes, about that. We'd like to ask you to, well, be the decoy for a Shijima. Hmm? Wait, what? It's simple. You dress up like me and I draw the attention and the annoying media flies away from me. Then I don't get held up by them and I can go on stage as planned. Hmm. Sure, but if you haven't noticed, you and I have some very different looks going on. We've taken that into account, actually. I love all these boy band adjacent plot points. Aren't they great? They're like, Yagami! You were in SMAP! You know what it's like! Uh, Shijima-kun, I brought your outfit. Huh? I have to wear it right now. It'll make this go quicker. What a pain in the butt. I don't follow. He's going to change, so just give us a second. Uh. What in the world? He's in a new vampire drama, you see, and he'll be taking the stage in costume. Yo. I am Bram Sylvania the third and I have returned from the deepest depths of hell <laughs> offer unto me your pulsing blood uh. Uh. I guess he's really into the part. He's a method actor. Wait. Didn't you say this performance was outdoors? You gonna be okay in all that direct sunlight? I am the progenitor vampire. Sunlight cannot rend my flesh. Sigh. Mm -hmm. Wait a second. You're not expecting me to wear this ludicrous outfit, are you? Unfortunately, we are. It is the wackiness music. Of course you are. Interview with a detective! All we need you to do is wear this and get the attention of the reporters. We'll make it worth your while. Would a uh, hundred and forty thousand yen be suitable? Uh, fine. As long as it's just to get their attention. Right. You should probably know that "Offer unto me your pulsing blood" is Bram's catchphrase, just in case. Josh and I have been going around saying "Render unto me your pulsing blood" ever since we played this game. You gotta raise your rates, Yagami. I mean, I know. He's broke as a joke, though. Canonically, I feel like I have an amount of money, but... It's not that much. I'm not sure you're paying me enough to say that. The venue is right in front of Camaro Hills, so stop by when you're ready, Yagami-san. Okay. I guess it's vampire time. I'll head to the plaza in front of Camero Hills. I might go back inside and talk to the, the girl who's trying to learn English again, though. Hey, how's your English going? Hi, Yagami. Please let me know if you need anything. I'm talking in English. Am I imagining this? 
Or did you get really fluent in English? Hi. Nope, it's all real. I'm glad it's not just me who thinks so. Wow. Looks like all your practice has finally paid off. I'm sure that's part of it, but actually... <laughs> Would you believe it if I told you I got a non-Japanese boyfriend? Eh? Whoa, that was quick. <laughs> he was staying at the hotel when we first met. When I tried to speak to him in English, he replied in Japanese. And it's been smooth sailing ever since. We're basically studying each other's language, so we help each other learn. Well, they do say the quickest way to learn a language is to find yourself a lover. Maybe so, though I still can't say with confidence that I'm a true English speaker just yet. But as long as I keep putting what I study into practice, I feel like I'm getting closer to my dream. I'll get there sooner than you think. I'll be rooting for you. Hi. You're really a helpful guy, you know that? Yes, friendos! And my reputation is better. Would you mind if I offered you a little something? Mm -hmm. Oh? Well, you'd still have to pay for it, but I came up with a new recipe based on what a foreign customer told me. We only have a limited amount of the ingredients, so we can't serve it to the public. But we'll make an exception for you, of course. You sure that won't be too much of a hassle? Secret menu items! Secret friend-locked menu items! Not at all! It's the least I could do to show our appreciation. Please try it whenever you'd like. I'd like to now, please. Molten cheese tart. Yo, that does sound good. Secret friendu items. Ah, like menu, but for friends. I get it. Give me that molten cheese tart. Sounded great. Thank you. Yeah. Hungry man. Quadra Gardens completed. Hey, bud. Greet me, greet me. Yeah. Oh, come on. Oh! Oh, no! He's getting multi-kicked to death! And Doom! Jesus, Yagami! Oh my god! Yagami, no! He's dead! He's already dead! There's nothing back here. Wow, they made it make a weird crunchy noise when you stood on it though. Crunch, 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 crunch. Crunchity crunch crunch. Oh no, not a calamity. You've been targeted by the wonder of you. I go up here. I just have to wait until Brahm Sama's concert starts. Yeah, I'll do it. Couldn't hurt to take a nap, I guess. Snooze. Snooze. This man can snooze anywhere. I'm extremely jealous. There's a ton of media gathered in front of the venue. Yagami-san! Yagami-san! Ano? Hayama-san, so this is still really happening, I take it? Hi. Of course! 
There's no backing out now, okay? Uh... I just thought I'd ask. Shijima will be arriving in a tented car soon, but as you can see, the media are prepared to ambush him. Mm. You aren't kidding. Yes. They'll swoop in on Shijima as soon as they catch even a glimpse of him. That's why we need you, Yagami-san. You have to keep their eyes on you. Here's the Bram outfit. Vampire costume! Achieve! So this is what it feels like to sink to a new low. Change into Bram-sama's outfit. Okay. The cloak of Bram Sylvania the Third, hemmed by humans who wish to pay tribute. Oh, good! Oh, good! No! What about my selfie? Hello. Um, Hayamasan. Uh, <laughs> wow, you guys look identical. Okay, Yagami-san, let's draw the media towards you. So I have to call them over with the catchphrase? Right you are, Yagami-san. Be as dramatic as you can when you say it, please. All right, here goes nothing. Offer unto me your pulsing blood! Huh? Oh! It's Bram Sama! Wow. They took the bait. Hey, let's go! Y yeah Us too! Hey, I'm a son. We have to run before they catch us. Crap, I wasn't fast enough. The others will get to him bef- Hmm? Huh? Ah! <sighs> Crap! Uh-oh. Damn it, I'm surrounded! Bram-sama, do you not deny the reports swirling around about all the damage you and your motorcycle gang have caused? Did you steal from people, too? Is it all true? <laughs> this isn't supposed to be happening. Yagami-san! Yagami-san, it's come to this! Just deal with these questions as best as you can! Eh? What? Mm. All you have to do is answer them like Brahm-sama would. Like... The fictional vampire I know nothing about would? Okay. <laughs> well, considering I am darkness incarnate, the crimes of my past are simply practice for my future evil deeds. Hmm? Practice? For evil? Think upon it! If I was an upright citizen, would that not be more scandalous for a vampire? Bramsama. Incredible. What, you can't just run away from your past? Wow, you sounded just like Bramsama. But I think you might have gotten a little overboard. Uh... This vampire thing sucks! <laughs> I am the immortal vampire, above all judgment and laws of any scandals, past or present. Yeah, you know, evil practice homework. You know, you gotta get your practice in. <clears throat> huh? Humanity means nothing to me. Your blood is the source of my limitless power, and I have thrived on it for centuries. I gotta be honest, 
As a tactic, this is not bad. <laughs> I feel like it might would go over. Uh... I don't think that's the question I was a asking. Yagami san, you have the Bromsum of I'm down, but the timing is terrible. <sighs> You're the one who told me to talk like a vampire. <gasps> no more messing around. You're not off the hook just because the statute of limitations expired. That's right. Bromsum's theft has driven entire corporations out of business. That can't be true. What? That's not true, is it? Are you just gonna keep dodging the responsibility? Don't expect saying sorry will solve all your problems. <laughs> Crap! What do I do now? I shall personally apologize to each and every one of my victims. How would you even do that? That motorcycle game rampaged all over Kanto. Eh? Did we know? Trying to apologize to everyone you wronged sounds pretty unrealistic to me. If an apology is no good, what should I do? I guess money. In that case, I shall atone for my sins with money! How would you pay back the people from the past, then? <laughs> uh, so many fans are in such deep pain over this incident. This isn't something you could just pay your way out of. This is hurting them at the heart. Did we? <laughs> the heart? I have left my weak human heart in the deepest pits of hell. <laughs> you monster. This is exhausting! Yes, but you see, I have also considered community service for your pulsing blood. Huh? What kind? Mm. Uh, you know, consoling the elderly, picking up trash around Camarocho, that kind of thing. Wow! Bromsum is gonna perform for the elderly? Bromsum is gonna pick up trash around the city? Ooh. Did that actually work? Are you serious about all this? Of course! A vampire who breaks his word is cursed! This could go viral. Maybe this is his chance to turn things around. Was that a bad answer? Well, it seems to be working, so whatever. Huh? Yes. Oh, great. He's the, he's the trash vampire man. Yagami-san! Yagami-san, it sounds like you made it to the venue just fine. Yes. Glad it worked out, but are these guys gonna let me go? Excuse me. Let's all cash it on the hype. What if I took your picture? How do you like that? You wanna be in the picture? Huh? Where's the other guy go? Alright. How do we get out of here? Lydia out! Fuck off! Fuck off! Can I go through here? Why is there just a- there's a, just a broom up there? Can I fly away on the broom? No! K 
Can I leave this place? No! Oh, do I have to stop being Brahm-sama? Huh? Where's Brahm-sama? That's weird. He was just here a second ago. <laughs> you did great, Yagami-san. You got that makeup off in record time. I'm glad it's done. <laughs> My adoring sacrifices. Thank you all for gathering here today. Now, render unto me your pulsing blood. Ah, Brown Sama! Yeah, put it right there in my hand! Woo! Glad he made it on stage. But I think you should probably know what I said. So that's what happened. Huh? You're kidding, right? Community service? Why did you roll me into something so dingus? I think it's great, actually. <laughs> huh? This will be a very public way to show how sorry you are. But it sounds weak, and I'm not sorry at all. Think about it, though. You could gain new fans and impress lapsed ones all in one full swoop. Mm, that's true. Hey, I know. Why don't we just pay this guy to do it for me? With all due respect, I'm not going to atone for your mistakes in your place. Sure, I got you into this mess, but I wouldn't have had to if you hadn't have been a punk in the past. <laughs> what? Yagami-san is right, Shijima-kun. As an artist, as an adult, it's up to you to face your past and atone for it. <sighs> Come on, that sounds like something that would be boring and I don't want to do it. So Yagami will not be picking up the trash. Yes. <laughs> I shall not allow chaos to sow its seeds upon this beautiful world. <laughs> I swear it upon my immortal life, immortal life, that I shall atone. Wah, Bromsama! I'm admittedly impressed that he just turned it on like that. Yagami-san. Thank you so much. As you can see, I think we're making real progress here. I just hope he'll consider what the consequences of his actions were and move forward as a better person. I agree. And Yagami-san, please don't let him discourage you from supporting Brahmsama's journey moving forward. Hey. Oh, sure. He drank enough of my blood today to make me a convert. Big fan right here. Render unto me your pulsing blood. Wah, Brown Summer! I love you! Heck yeah! We got pulsing blood. All right. I thought I would go and maybe do, I'm going to try this hard table again, see if I can get a pin food for that girl. And that's, uh, the vampire plot line. Da 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 da. Doop. Hey bros. I want to play the whammy mahjong.
<clears throat> We're supposed to have some kind of storm system rolling through, but it has not stormed yet. And the, the like, storm pressure is making my, my head feel, like, squeezy-painy. And I'm just like, man, could you just rain or whatever? What the heck? Just rain! Oh, no, I got the whammy. Ooh, no, that's actually good. That's three Doras. Fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. And the east is one, too. Ooh. That's real good, y'all. That's real good. You get those barometric headaches, too. Oh, it's the worst, and it's just like... Nothing really helps except ice. But I don't want to, like, I can't really put ice on it right now. Because I'm busy. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Bum. I don't need that. Ooh. Oh, heck yeah, this is looking sweet. Render unto me your pulsing east. Oh man, I don't want to, like, do that. Yeah, if I could get this, it's gonna be uh, high scoring. Oh my god. Ah! Oh my god! And I had the whammy! Dead wall draw! Double east! Dora Nana! Dora Nana! Holy shit! Dora Nana! Yo, look at that shit! That's a Baimon! That's fucking Baimon! Ah! <laughs> look at how many Oh, bitch, it's my treasure! I'm still east! Oh, man, that was something! I probably should have kept that. That's all right. That's all right. All right. I hear what you're saying. Do that. Come on, man. Give me, give me them uh, character tiles. Come on. <sighs> really? You butt. I 
can't. I'll be in 40 ton. Not a good hand. Yeah. It's fine. We want to follow up uh, a wildly successful hand with another destroying hand, but it doesn't always work that way. North. Pepperidge Farm remembers, and so does the North. I don't know if y'all watch uh, Game of Thrones. If you didn't, like, I mean, probably good for you based on what they ended up doing to it. But uh, every time they were like, the North remembers, I would be like, and so does Pepperidge Farm. <laughs> because that's what I'm like. Frankly, <sighs> do I want to do that? Mm. <laughs> well, it does. Jeez. Yeah, I'll take that. I don't need this. Let's get the Tanya. I'm too face blind for ensemble shows where people don't constantly reintroduce themselves like Troy McClure. I couldn't tell anybody apart, haha. I mean, that's incredibly fair. Oh, of course they give me the other north. There we go. <laughs> oh, you butt! It's not going to matter that much. Oh, and we're done! Lucky draw Tomoko has gone negative, negative. Oh, I fucking owned! Sashibata Mahjong, I have conquered you! I still need to get a pin foo so that girl will be my friend, but I, I suspect we could do that another time. Thanks! Thank you! Do do do! Goodbye! I need, uh, I need to conquer other Mahjong places. I also need to like, alright, I guess I'll drone race again. What? What? Get him! Dagger, <laughs> I mean, I read the books up to what is, like, currently released, and, um, Josh and I have been together for, like, 12, going on 13 years now, and when we first started dating, I was reading the last book that came out in that series, and, um, just to give you an idea of how long it's been. <laughs> Hey, can I make parts? Are these, none of these are better. Frame, motor, I am not gonna, super turbo, I don't have enough old circuits. 
Alright, fine. I can't buy things from him. I can just develop parts with garbage I've found around various parts of the uh, city. Yeah, I'll go in it. I'll do a Grand Prix flight. Yeah, I need my, uh... I need my drone to be faster. It's not fast enough to chase people very well yet, and I feel like we could just do better. Josh says that Yagami is never happier than he is when he's win winning the drone races. I think that's true. Pigeon time, baby! Oh no, they're gonna make me go inside! Fuck! Oh, this is where it gets brutal. No! Motherfucker. Told us this. No, I hate it when they make you go inside. Cause I always get wrecked. Watch out! Alright, let's see if I can hit it this time. Oh no! I can't! very good at this. Whatever. Oh, 
<laughs> Whatever. Jack Be Gone has pulled ahead. What new parts are available? Are they motors? Make me faster, sir! Do I- I have that already, don't I? No, I don't! Motorin! What's your price to chase people? Alright, let's see if this is good enough. Upgrading the drone. Customize it. Give me that extra fast motor. Really? My... Okay. Now let's see if this is fast enough to wreck some people. I didn't appreciate how much Josh was doing for me getting the uh getting the old drone a lot faster. <sighs> this is better. Oh, yeah, this is pretty good. This will be good. Hello? Come back! Yeah! Everybody's running. Everybody's running away from the drone. really want to make sure you can get a lot of people going at the same time. That's the important part. He's going back the other way. Okay. Well, we've all made decisions. I gotta catch up with her. Ma'am! We're all, we're all going together. Come on. We're going! We're going together! No? Alright, fine. Hey! She caught up! I got a bunch of them hung up on one car once. It was glorious. I feel like it could still be faster than this. And that would be better. It would be better for chasing. Sir, come back! I need to tell you about the mysteries and wonders of droning and... and rendering your pulsing blood. Come back! Come back! Ma'am? Will you also chase the dream? She will. You've decided to take up the, uh, the dream chase, and I appreciate you for that. Where is he going? Where will he go? I would have definitely fallen down by now if I was this guy. I have a, a lot of uh, appreciation for his tenacity. Will you run as well?